Hey guys, uh, you can obviously tell that this is not from the same day, but we recorded almost two hours of content. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up giving it to you in pieces, a little more easy to digest. Uh, obviously, you don't want to listen to us talk for two hours. So I'm going to try this time to break it up into 15, 20, 30 minute segments, make it a little easier to digest and create a little more content for us. So let us know down in the comments how you feel about this. And without further ado, us. It's the Green Bay Packers. You have uh, a window right now. You have a window to try and go for a championship. You were in the NFC title game last year. Why are you planning for three years in the future? Because Aaron Rodgers has three years left on his contract. So basically by drafting Jordan How Love, you're saying that this is going to be our guy three years from now. Or two, maybe. And like, Yeah, unless you cut him or trade him. This is our guy three years from now is what you're implying. So to me, their draft is a failure because of the fact that they decided to do that. And then in probably the deepest wide receiver class we've ever seen, you did not give your star quarterback that you're paying oh so much money to. So you did money. not give him additional help. And instead, you drafted his replacement and a guy that doesn't fit the modern NFL game in a downhill power back. Here, Pat, I got I tell you what you do, right? All right, real quick, hold on. You are yeah. Dub, uh -huh. Yeah, I know. Dub what he said, but use that little <laughs> clip of what I just did. That was a much better answer to that question. But make that what I said. Do got that. It. Yeah, Take yeah, that yeah. loop loop that bullshit I just did. Very insightful, Spillane. That was good. I appreciate that. I think I I'll take that compliment and that I'll was, run with that it. That was the right answer. I I fucking boffed it and I didn't know it, but you're not wrong. While I like Jordan Love, uh, if they 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 really did nothing no, to make the, Aaron have better times. There's so many questions there as to fucking why. That's just the main one is why. Well, because even still, they lost their starting offensive tackle in Brian Berlaga in free agency. Doesn't uh, Devontae Adams have injury issues? Didn't he have injury issues last year? And that's probably because he's catching so something balls a game. So and good. he's the only guy, so they're rough and they attack him any given opportunity. Yeah. Why would you not give Aaron Rodgers a twilight Aaron Rodgers? So he's not he's not to the level he he's not discount double check Aaron Rodgers anymore. He's not, but can't do the double check. He can still throw the ball. Yes, he can. He's still very very good at that, and he's one of the I would say one of the last the dying breed of guys that can stand in the pocket and throw the ball and succeed at that. A, because I think sneaky, that that's, he's a sneaky scrambler, by the way, <clears throat> for sure. Yeah, no, he's got his moments where he can bust out 20 yards. Like it's nothing, but 36, 37, you know, two broken collarbones. It's going to start to not, you're not going to run as much anymore. Agreed. And, I would argue that also in the top in that top echelon we could also put Russell Wilson, but I've been on that bandwagon forever. Well, but it's not is it you're on a bandwagon of like the concept of that, but he's very good, so you can't even that's not even a bandwagon anymore. It's like well, Russell I Wilson, was saying good. it when everybody was like, you were. Not, I would I will agree because I've known you long enough to know that you were saying that's it true. before he even won a title. You I were did. saying he is going to be something, and people are like, eh. Bottom of the bottom of the top 15. And now it's like you're messing up if you don't put him in the top five. So here's here's what Green Bay's wide receiver group looks like. OK. Oh, God. You've never they heard could be this in this chat right now. And we would have no idea. Adams, you don't know who they are. Devontae Adams. Yeah. And that's this is alphabetically. So like uh, who's got seven years of NFL experience. He sure does. Red, Reggie Begleton. Never heard of That's him. not a real person. You haven't yep. either. Tell the truth. They did sign Devin Funches in the I've office, heard of him. Uh, who's got six years of NFL experience, but, but everyone would, else has under three years experience. I would got, argue Devin Funches is a, a career underachiever. Yeah, he was well, he drafted is. in the second round and supposed to be the, the next Steve Smith for Cam Newton, and he was he couldn't hold Steve Smith's jock strap. Nope. And so Steve got, Smith is our height, Pat. Steve Smith is not a tall guy. 
Devin Funches sucks. He's like six three. We got Jake Comero. Nope. White That's with a beard. A person. That's what a guy he looks like. Uh, that Alan Lazard. Right. Darius Shepard. Give get forgive me for mispronouncing this. Uh, because I know you're listening right now. Uh, Equinemius St. Brown, Daryl yep. Stewart, Malik Taylor, and Marquez Valdez Scantling. I have a real favor to ask of you, Pat. This is a big ask, but no, I'll make it up to you. Just from when he started with his you, your question of who had the worst draft, cut my part because I had a bad answer. From his to now, I need that clip to send to David because he loves the Packers. I swear to God, I can just do that. that just that, that four minutes, because what he said is so true. And then you listing these terrible fucking people no one's heard of. You can even keep this in there because fucking David oh, keep it in there. is going to suck. They are not going to win that division. He's got to figure out as a Packers fan, right? So David's a Packer fan. There's other a lot of Packer fans. They're going to have to figure out, do I still like this team or did I only like them because of Aaron Rodgers for a while and Brett Favre? Like what made me like this team? They make terrible decisions. We won because we had two of the best quarterbacks in the whole NFL. In the whole 50 years, we got two of the best and we won because of it. Are we terrible at picking talent? So I have I have a hot take that I, I just – in in this – You've you've enlightened me, and it's about the Green Bay Packers, so I'm also going to leave this in. And David, I want you to know that I'm talking directly to you. Yeah, I don't know you, David, but take it. Aaron Rodgers fucking hates Green Bay. I think he does. I think he does. They and you know what? You know what started this for Aaron Rodgers? And I'm gonna I'm gonna say that he was a big Packer. He was he was about it. He was living the life. When you cut Jordy Nelson, he got so he, upset. He made. I agree. The decision in his heart that he doesn't give a fuck about he Green Bay. He said, I'm going to take all of their money, all the people's money, because that's the team that's owned by the people. Yeah. He's like, fuck Green Bay. I'm taking every dollar from these humans, not a rich owner, but these mm-hmm. regular folks. I'm going to take that money. I'm going to take that to L.A., fuck all the hot bitches with my 100 240 million that I took from the residents of Green Bay, Wisconsin. See you later. No, he 100%. I think Aaron Rodgers probably hates the city of Green Bay as much as he hates his family because he doesn't even call them. Like, and, joke, and he hates his fucking bro. That's true. And <laughs> I will say this, David, I hope that we do a white elephant in the next couple of years because I will buy you an Aaron Rodgers Minnesota Vikings jersey because it's going to happen. I'm calling it now. Really I'm actually going to call where I think he's really going to play. Where, say it. Where is he really going to New England? Play? Say New England, because no. I also thought that. No. He is going to get traded to the San Francisco 49ers. They're going to ditch Garoppolo and run that Kyle Shanahan offense on the West Coast. I don't think they're going to do that. Bold take. I think, go I ahead think Shanahan take loves wait Jimmy a minute, G. Wait a minute. Did, did Spillane just bring up a legit talking point, though, that's worthy of like a couple minutes? Yeah. What is oh, Aaron Rodgers worth on the trade market? That's interesting, isn't it? Like, what do you have to give to get a guy that's we, – we are saying Twilight, but Twilight is different now, right? Brady won a title in his 40s. Breeze has been relevant in his 40s. Uh, Rodgers, I think, is 37. What is 36. he worth? What is he worth? Pat, you haven't answered. You've been the giver. What do you think? I think if you – that's tough. It, it depends on – how this trade is going down. If Aaron Rodgers is demanding a trade out of green Bay, he's worth dick because teams will realize they don't have to give up anything to get him. Right. He will force his way out of green Bay. Just like Brett Favre forced him to hold his pee pee sometimes. Right. That's probably true. Uh, but probably if, rook, rook, yeah. Rookie move. That's going to be the next like last dance is going to be Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, who held whose penis. It was Aaron but, <laughs> if Green Bay is tired and Matt LaFleur is tired of the Aaron Rodgers, I think you go in with an ask of two first round picks plus. I think you need at least two first or first rounds. And then what else you got? Who what wide receiver is your number three right now, but could be your number one? Who's a tight end on your team that's athletic that we could like? You know, who's a left tackle, right tackle? Who's a I think you get other building blocks around that, but it's got to start with two firsts for me. 
I think it's at least one first, possibly a first and a second. Um, but this is the thing about it is if Green Bay is smart, which I'm going to go ahead and say that their front office is not They're based not. on how things have been going. Sorry. Sorry, David. Right. That's who we're talking to, David. David. No, he, he got cut from this point. No, we're still talking about Green Bay. So no, you know what? You're right. Man. You can get this. In. He loves Aaron Rodgers even more than Green Bay. He would li- he would at least tell me like I think you're right. He'll go. Ugh. That's my thing. Is if Green Bay's smart, which right now I know their front office is not, they would be marketing Aaron Rodgers to a team that is legitimately a quarterback away from a Super Bowl contender. Who is which that? Means, that's the thing. Is could that be New Chicago. England under Belichick? Denver. It's Denver. It's the New England Patriots. It's Chicago. It's uh, I think the four. I think the. I, I'm not. I don't think I'm far off in saying the 49ers because Jimmy no, no, G no. was that's, a that's, a lot of the reason that I felt they didn't compete better in the Super Bowl. He, missed he was a, a liability. Winning throw, eight yards overthrown. That's a game winning throw. Yeah, he that, Trubisky'd it. What's that? <laughs> he Trubisky'd it. There are ten other quarterbacks, maybe fifteen, that make that throw. Yeah. He had a game. I mean, it was the fourth quarter of a Super Bowl. Eli Manning makes that throw. It's true. Uh, no, I think Eli is way better. The, like, yeah. And you can bag on him for the face and a lot, but Eli fucking puts it on that dude's hands in that moment. Oh, I, I'll just say it this way. Yes, I will rag on him at times, but I am a diehard Giants fan. That guy got me two Super Bowls in my lifetime. The number 10 is sacred. Yeah, he gets like, a bad rap for his the way his he holds his body and face. But – he is not a good face. A it's goddamn face. winner, and he's not a stat guy. He's not a guy you look at as like career stats, best ever. It isn't that though, because when who the hell do you want in crunch time? He proved that he was the ma- and, and NFL is a tough crunch time game. Like yeah. NBA is a little easier when you're like the Kobe Bryant and the Michael Jordan and your LeBrons and your guys that are like, no, I want the ball. I'm gonna. NFL's a little different. There's a lot of fucking guys on the field. There's a lot of dudes running around. Eli's the one. Aaron Rodgers going to another team is definitely happening in our lifetime. And I think he he originated with a chip on his shoulder when he came into the league. He will bring that back. And he could be the second one to lead a team. Other guys have gotten it as backups. But he could be the second one after Peyton to win a title if, if Brady doesn't get it in Tampa Bay. Yeah. So seven, where team. what would what would your your trade package look like, Craig? Let's say let's say Green Bay is taking offers. You're GM of a team. What do you what are you willing to give up for Aaron Rodgers at this point at 36 years old? It, it would probably be you, you were saying two firsts and a, and a player. I, I think Green Bay's not. Green Bay wants that, right? But teams are going to play hardball knowing that he wants out of there. But he is under a three-year deal, so you could argue if you thought you could win today, that is a correct trade for your fan base. That is a title-giving or at least a playoff-getting. Like, the Panthers is the one I shouted out because they have such a dynamic running back, you know, and a defense that's relevant and struggles because Cam couldn't move the ball right. And, and you guys mentioned team, the 49ers were literally one catch away from winning, so you put a better quarterback in. I don't know if the numbers make sense for them because those first-round picks aren't as valuable to the Green Bay Packers. But if LaFleur, and I don't, don't – forgive me, I don't know the GM. If they're really thinking – Not good. We took Jordan, yeah. <laughs> we took Jordan Love because we think he's the future. Wouldn't they need some extra first-round picks? To build around him. So that's the weird wrinkle that makes this interesting of like, if it's, if it's, I think it's closer to what Mike said, a first, either a two and a three, and then a guy, right? You unleash, you unload a contract. The team that's giving up the picks gets to release a heavy contract because they're taking on a massive. They're taking on the most, I think, the highest paid player in the league. So it's either, yeah, I think it's him and then Khalil Mack, or maybe it's Khalil yeah, Mack it's and then him or something. Yeah. So you package it with, you call teams if you're LaFleur. It's not LaFleur. It's the GM guy. If uh, you're Gutten Cursed. Yeah. It's a bad name. Cunst. Gutten yeah. Cunst. Guy going to lose his job in the near future if he doesn't make this fucking deal. Like you're calling and you're saying it's only going to cost you. You're going to release all this debt load. And yeah, you give me what you got for the first round, maybe the next, this year and the year after second round. But you got Aaron Rodgers. Go win. We well, ain't gonna- And that's. That's why I think it's two firsts. I think 
the name Aaron Rodgers carries so much weight, you're going to have to give up two firsts in order to shake the foundation. And I think it's going to be a, a, if again, if it's not Aaron demanding a trade out, because if he demands a trade out, I think the Packers are going to have to take like a third round pick and whoever the fuck is their fifth wide receiver because they don't even know. So the other team's just going to trade them back. That GM should be making calls of other GMs he knows and say, hey, we ain't winning shit this year. Look at my wide receiver core. You haven't heard of seven of them. Mike Spillane on the Drunk Drawer podcast just listed them. Nobody's heard of them. Take this man off our hands. Give us your next two and this guy that's costing you 18 who shouldn't be. Like that makes sense. I just don't know if it gets done, but LaFleur is certainly representing that he wants that move. And this is my thing is you look at what kind of granted he had free agency on his side with Peyton. Uh, and, and so did Tom, but you kind of look at them. They went where they wanted to go. Tom Brady probably could have gotten more money. If Cincinnati just threw 40 million at him, like if Cincinnati threw 40 million, they could have, but he didn't want to play in Cincinnati. He'd rather play in Tampa. Oh, he's going to like I'm, Tampa. He's I'm going to tell like you right team. now. I think Rogers just wants to go back to California. He's a California kid. He wants to go play You're on not the coast. I just think so, he's got a lot of teams and, and they are going to figure that out. That's my thing is where does he go? That's why I think San Francisco makes the most sense. Chargers. Because the the Chargers would have made sense if they didn't draft base. Justin Herbert. Don't. If they, they didn't draft Justin they would, Herbert. I think they would eject him immediately. for is it a better looking trade for the for the Packers? You get the Chargers next two years, and then their their biggest contract, Aaron playing, teaches Herbert. So now you've got the now and the then. like, And your picks are valuable, so Green Bay feels like they're never going to win. We're going to ship them this disgruntled guy. And I think that, that it looks better from the Chargers from Aaron's perspective, too, because they drafted Herbert without him. And then they traded for him. They were like, we still value you more than this fucking guy who hasn't done dick in this league yet. You know, if you want to teach him, great. If you want to make him the piss boy and hold a bucket that you pee in sometimes, go for it. We're on yes. we're on board with that. And also we're cutting Tyrod Taylor. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> immediately. And he's one of those I, you know what? I think he actually, gets a bad rap. I like Tyrod Taylor. Actually, <laughs> Cleveland would not be a bad place if if – Weapon wise, if Aaron Rodgers wanted to go somewhere and yeah, rip the it up, it's terrible. And his next girlfriend doesn't live. Is Wis- so, is, is Wisconsin no. great? Does Wisconsin have great weather? Oh, he they hates it there, though. What Spillane saying is true. He loves Cali from where he played and he dates celebrities. He's going to L.A. For sure. But if he wants a fucking Super Bowl. If he wants a fucking Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers. You, you got Bill Beckham Jr. Jarvis. So impressive. Jarvis, Odell, Chubb, and Joku. Any more than one year. It, it, no, but if Aaron Rodgers is there, who cares? Get a ring and ship him out. I we as as fans, I think we get it even more than than some because we like these theoretical scenarios. Like it's worth mortgaging for a ring. Some teams get that, and others don't. And Green Bay has never because they're spoiled. They won the first two. They won one with Favre. They won one with Rodgers. They're spoiled, but teams are realizing it. What Tampa Bay is doing this year, I I keep going back, but the NBA learned this a little faster than the NFL. It's how Toronto got their title. Like there was no way they get that without Kawhi Leonard, right? And he's on a one-year rental. So we're seeing short-term rentals. The NFL did it with the Denver Broncos and Peyton Manning, but I will go back to that Peyton didn't win that title. He put them in relevance with his career year the year before. Brady's trying to do it. It's a two-year deal. Breeze is going to exit. Stage left. Saints finish. So he's not the story. Aaron will be the next big story of where is he going to go and does that get that team a new title? And I think it, it, it can. It can. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm curious because – the, not that anyone has ever listened to our podcast in this length, uh, but no. – no, we no. fucking called Cam Newton not being a Panther last year. Yes, we, we saw the writing on the wall. So I'm very curious to see what, what if some of our occurs. trade projections are right. What if Aaron goes for like a first, a second, and a player, and we're all feeling ourselves like that's why it's fun to talk about deal. it. Somebody give us a deal. 
So I will I will make I just looked up something that I think is very interesting as well. He may stay in Green Bay because that's where Danica Patrick is from. She is from Wisconsin, so that may tie him to it. Or he could just be like, I want to go back to Olivia Munn and then go back to. For a moment, I did forget he was with the GoDaddy race car driver woman, who I do respect as an athlete. She won real races, all that. Um, Not as hot as other women. But there is a hotness craziness factor, and you have to always look at that curve. And Olivia Munn looks hot enough to be crazy. So maybe he's doing, maybe he's playing the curve. Correcting. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't put much in that because Danica Patrick has world traveled. True. No way wants to go back and be in Wisconsin forever. No one wants to live there forever. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at it right now, too. And <clears throat> realistically, the next year that they could logically have an out on him. <coughs> excuse me, is 2022 without a trade. And that's if they cut him in 2022, his dead cap hit is only 17.2 million. Only. If they cut him this year, it's $51 million in dead cap. Yep. Next year is 31.5. That's why he's so like, tradable, but you have, the other team has to unload theirs too. Well, that's so, the thing. And that's, his base that's salary the other thing next is, year is fourteen point seven. That's not bad. It was so loaded with bonuses. San, I don't think San Fran can take the cap hit. Mm-mm. That's no. why I don't think he goes to San Fran. That's Chargers. why I think Chargers are a possibility. I, I still Minnesota man, revenge is beautiful. He saw Let's Favre see. do it, and he's gonna want to play Green Bay twice a year. He's gonna want to stick it to them in Lambeau. He could go to the Bears. That would be, you know, a major metropolitan city. A little better for him in in Chicago than Minnesota. You also have... uh, Minnesota's a dome, though. He gets to play in that dome life. Very nice compared to his frigid tundra that he literally played on half the year. Uh, Chicago, very cold out there in Soldier Field. Better team on the defensive side. That's the tough, tough. But you're right. Minnesota in the dome. Aaron Rodgers in the... It makes sense. Top talent in a dome is scary. Matt Ryan, if Matt Ryan can kill in a dome, Aaron Rodgers will dismantle teams Some in a dome. Want to think Matt Ryan is good? 